my skin hey guys welcome back to my channel it is me came welcome to the life of UK um today's video is going to be a story time it's an unplanned story time so I'll try my best to not blab too much to not talk too much you know because that's my job I talk a lot but basically this video is going to be a story time and it's going to be like my first experience in Brazil my first experience meaning like okay when I got to Brazil down to this city I was supposed to start school and you know when I started school like my first experience because honestly I feel like it was it was very funny you guys understand what I'm saying when I get into the video but yeah basically this video is on was not planned I think this was not what I planned for this week and it's like a last minute option for me because I said I'm trying to be consistent so this is it consistency for you so this video was supposed to be like a um we create a recipe with me but I couldn't get the things I wanted to use to recreate this recipe so I am going to wait that out until I finally get them so yeah without further ado so um where do I will start from well I'm eating uh, acai and I don't know if you know what acai is but acai is like a fruit I think it's found only in Brazil and you can use it to make like ice cream I don't know if you can eat I think you can use it to eat other stuff but I prefer the acai that you know used to make ice cream here they, I think they eat it with um fruits then they also eat it with um rice flakes and milk and granola it's very nice honestly I heard that acai outside of Brazil is really expensive. So this is one thing I'm grateful to. <laughs> I'm great I'm grateful for in Brazil. But basically, I don't know where to start from. Let's start from when I landed Brazil. So I came to Brazil with a family friend of mine. Grateful for that because honestly, Brazil speaks Portuguese and my Portuguese was so no good. It was it was on a scale of one to ten, it was like maybe 1.5 it was not good at all <laughs> not like it was not good it was not it was not good basically let me just hide myself it was not good it was okay but it was not good I, I, I was shy so i couldn't even communicate with even the little that i knew so i'm grateful that i came with her because i think i would have gotten lost so um we landed then we got our bags and everything we didn't have any issues at the airport it was smooth the flight was really smooth i think the only thing the only issue throughout the flight was that um we delayed kind of, I think we delayed leaving Nigeria to Turkey because I use Turkish Airlines. So we delayed leaving Nigeria to Turkey. So when we got to Turkey we had to rush a bit because we had a layover. But we didn't have the layover again because I think we were supposed to lay over there for like an hour. But since we got there late, so we just came to Brazil straight away from there. So that was the only issue I had. But getting to Brazil, my family friend, my friend was with me. And you know, she did all the talking, got us an Uber. Prior to we come to Brazil, we were not supposed to but both of us were going to like different states she was going to minas i was supposed to be in Rio, but we're going to another of our her cousin's place which is my family friend so let's say like this okay i don't use their names here so i'm going to use like little and big i'm going to use like big big friend and small friends so you guys understand what i'm saying because a small friend i call her small friend because she's literally younger than me a year younger than me and older than her by a year so you guys know that's what i'm saying so yeah i came with my small friend <laughs> it sounds funny but i came with like, my small friend and you know we prior to we come to brazil we already bought like a bus tickets to where my big friend my big friend's house was so um we got to brazil in time thank you my team we took an uber down to the bus station where we took a bus to my big friend's place so when we got there that when we got there it was i don't know i don't know if i had any difficulty i can't remember any i think if we had any difficulties i remembered but down to getting there it was smooth but that place was cold i don't know if the time we came but it was so cold we came in february it was mad cold it was cold like like cold when in the daytime we left since we left um the airport in the night around 12 we got there it was probably like nine o'clock ish six to nine thereabouts 
so we got there and we were really exhausted from all the travels so we got there we slept and everything we stayed in my my big big friend's place for a week i stayed there for a week because i used that to kind of plan on where i was going to stay when i finally um came to my the city i was supposed to school so um i tried to get, get in contact with like housing agencies who that rented houses over the internet and all that i was able to get in contact with one one thing you have to know is you come to brazil to school at least my experience me come to brazil to school like there was no arrangement for where was i going to stay like my school i don't know if my school does but my school where I school doesn't have like a hostel so it was quite difficult for me getting a place it was really really difficult i couldn't get a place it was just it was just i tried to get in contact with like um maybe like students that i found on the internet using the school site like the school page to get like you know swing but like nobody was forthcoming i understand you know i was just sending a message from out of blue it was me i haven't been skeptical about the whole thing but like i said i feel like there's supposed to be something sort of a plan receiving foreigners being the fact that this here they speak a different language but unfortunately it was not that for me so i got into i got in contact with like an agency and they were so nice so the, we planned a date I, I told them i was arriving in rio i stay in rio i was arriving in rio on by friday of the week uh friday and um i was arriving here i was going to go over to their their office to sign the documents and just give them the documents they needed because this agency they you know they did everything with documenting it was not like something you just come and pay and you you move in and since i was coming from some i was coming from outside i was coming from nigeria obviously i needed everything to be like legit so i didn't i wasn't obviously going to pay somebody over the internet for a house that i did not see so when i got here friday I took back my bag from my big big friend's place and got on an over. I came I got to the bus station. When I got to the bus station, you know, I explained to the bus driver that this is where I was going and I was a foreigner and which I don't even know why I did that because my Portuguese, like I said, was bad. So this this god that I serve is the one that was coming through. <laughs> so basically I explained to the guy and he was like, Oh I know, but I'm not the one that's going to drop you guys there. I think um the distance from there to here they will have like they had like to change drivers in between so it was like don't worry when you when we're about to change i'm going to inform the driver that's going to take you down there about where it is you're going to stop so he's going to like drop you at the nearest place today so i was like ah, thank you and everything you know bus trip i slept throughout honestly i slept throughout by the time we got to rio um the guy alerted me that oh you're in rio and i was like okay i was just looking and we got to one on that bridge. <laughs> we got to one on that bridge. And this guy now stopped the bus under the bridge. I think then you can actually stop the bus like in different stops. But now I think you have to go directly to the bus station. You can't just stop on the middle of the road. So this guy stopped the bus like on that bridge. And in that on that bridge, he now came down and called me. <laughs> he now came down and called me. Mind you, I was still with my Nigerian sim. Because in Brazil, each state has like a a state code for phone numbers. So if I bought one in my cousin, my sorry, if I bought one in my big friend's place, I wouldn't have been able to use it well. At least that was what I thought. I wasn't. I, I, I thought that my, I wasn't going to be able to use it here, which is not this. It's not the case. It's a situation whereby it's easier. It's better to buy in your state, like where you're going to. Because if you have an issue with it, you can actually go over to, you know, any of the the SIM card offices around and resolve it. But if you buy from that state, I think you have the issue of, you know, having to go back there and resolve it or you change the SIM. So it was easier to just buy. So I was still with my Nigerian SIM card. I didn't have any internet service. Even though if you ask me for Wi-Fi, they'll give you their, their, their their passwords like if you have stores for wi-fi they give their passwords so um i still had my nigerian sim with me and you know this guy dropped under the bridge and he was like we've gotten to where it is you said you're going you just have to cross this bridge me and three of my bags and one school bag i mean yeah me three of my bags and one school bag this man <laughs> i laugh because honestly when i look back at that day i wanted to cry <laughs> This man got down from the bus, 
took out my bags and you know told me that this was the nearest stop all i needed to do was to get in contact with the agency because i was already talking to them and you know cross over and i got there probably around by six seven the agency opens by what time by nine so oh, that's going to be doing from like six to nine with three bags in the middle of nowhere at least i, I thought in the middle of nowhere because i didn't know and you know like on the road it was like literally i was i, I it was like i put a signpost on me and i was like come and steal my stuff because i was like it was obvious that i was coming from another country or somewhere that it was just obvious i was so so lucky then what did i do stores started opening so what i did was on this side where i was on this side of the bridge where i was there was a store that just opened and i begged the man please can i drop my bags here i just want to take them across this bridge because this man said that da, 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 the address was across the bridge and she was like oh okay nice no problem drop it i dropped my, my bag for together i don't know how i communicated with this book i cross over when i get there i ask the guy on the other side on another store please can i stop drop my bag here i'm trying to carry my bags across over i'm like oh no problem i drop it see this was i don't even know how i didn't even fear the fact of you know people stealing my stuff or you know i don't know i, I wasn't just i just wanted to get across that bridge and i don't know what i was thinking at that moment but that's what i did i took one bag i crossed over i came back to the other one i crossed over came back to the third one and i crossed over <laughs> This was not even bags like oh three bags. They were big heavy bags like boxes. Wait, I just moved from Nigeria. Obviously, I have food, clothes, everything in my box. <sighs> I crossed over and I got there and I you know the guy on the other end yeah gave me it was so nice to give me a chair. I sat at the store, I told him the time that uh, the store was supposed to open and you know he told me, Oh, why don't you buy a SIM card? That was where I bought my first SIM. <laughs> that was where I bought my first SIM card um i tried to pull it was so complicated like it was so complicating the, i wasn't understanding anything very well but i go around the whole sim card stuff and everything i messaged the the agency that had already arrived and you know i waited for them to open so i stayed there until the time they opened and when they opened this lady was so nice enough to come over with her car and you know she helped me to pack my three bags into her car and then we went to the agency getting there i was like finally i'm going to get a house the only thing is that i'm going to get a house with no bed nothing literally i'm going to sleep on the floor for the first one week but at least i was going to be out of the streets out of the road out of danger but yeah i crossed um i went over there and you know it was time to sign papers and that they asked for this document i gave that document i gave this document i gave then it came down to my matric document i came february 4th my matric was march 11th when they asked that i was like guys my matric is march 11th i started i started um i started um shaking i was just confused they're like oh that we can't um because of the da -da -da, agency policy and da -da -da, we can't give you the house if the documents are not complete i was like oh my goodness now i need to sleep I don't know anybody in this place like people telling me all this rubbish. Eh? Why do people tell me all these ones when I was in my, my big friend's place? Like, why did you guys tell me all these ones? Why did I have to come down here when you guys tell me? My school was only resuming March. I would have been able to stay at my big friend's place, like, till I got a, a place that was okay. I was so mad. I was I wanted to cry. See, at the point where the guy dropped me under the bridge, and I I was there with like my three bags. I wanted to, if I had the, <clears throat> had the urge to call my mom and be like, Mommy, I'm not doing this. I'm coming back home. Honestly. Now, going over there, that one has passed. Going over there, you guys hear that I cannot rent an apartment because of magic um, documents. I wanted to cry. I was like, Oh Lord, why did you send me a place where I come? <laughs> why did you send me to a place where I come? So I don't understand anything. But getting there, my eyebrows are just so big. But again, there I um I the lady was they were nice enough to you know be like they saw how desperate I was and how I really started to panic and oh where was I going to sleep and all that. So they were like, okay, calm down. We're not going to allow anything to happen to you. We're going to give you a place to stay since we can't because of agency policy. We're going to give you a place to stay at least before you you know do your matric and you know you get the place and all that. 
Okay, no problem. And I'll come down. This agency's office opposite there was a Catholic church. And in the Catholic church, I think they knew of somebody that had like a an apartment or someone that had a room in a house to rent and all something like that. Honestly, at this point I didn't want to stay alone. And I wanted to stay alone. I didn't want to stay alone because I'd never really stayed alone. But I wanted to stay alone because I, you know, it was a nice experience. So um they got in contact with this lady. She was single, she had no kids, no boyfriend, nothing. And you know, she had a room in her house and they you know they spoke to her and whatever and she decided to rent the house to the room to me. Mind you, now when I think back, that one rented that room for me. Really expensive. Really, really expensive because I how much do I pay in my house? I pay like let's say I pay like let's say I pay like a thousand reais. That one rented that room for me for like 950 reais. That's really expensive. It's just a room. And here I live alone in this house with my my parlor my kitchen everything alone and i paid this amount so i feel like it was quite expensive but thank you for the help basically i got there and you know i was happy and they took me down to the man's place they you know made me comfortable and they were like okay this is where you need to stay until we get a place for you so that you know be stranded and all that so i was like okay nice at least i was i had bed i had where i was going to sleep i had where i was going to pee and all that so i was okay I mean, what else could I ask for? So, I stayed there, and you know, the beginning part was nice. Your mom was like more of a motherly, even if she never had a kid. She was more of, you know, trying to be a motherly and all that. But I started getting to excess to the point where, you know, the first Sunday I spent there, she was like, okay, I should come to church with her. I was like, no problem. This is a Catholic church. I should come to church with her. I was no problem. I went there, but it wasn't my vibe, it was my thing. So I was like, you know what? We're not going again. <laughs> No, I'm going again. When I go back home, she was like, Oh, did I like that? Oh, was nice. No problem. So oh, next week was I going? I was like, No, I'm not going. <laughs> it was nice. Why would I, why did I go the next week? I just I just I told her I was like, it wasn't really my thing. The I mean part of everything is that communication with this woman was weird because my Portuguese was no good at all. It wasn't good. And this woman was just I don't know, she was just not understanding me. She wasn't understanding anything. My po she wasn't understanding anything, basically. But my practice was not good. And, you know, she wasn't understanding, like I said. So it was quite difficult for me to communicate. When I got there, I cooked my food right from home. I've always cooked. So I tried to cook. And, you know, when I came to Brazil, I brought some food stuffs. I made my food. For crying out loud, I was just coming to Brazil for the first time. I was just leaving home for the first time. So obviously, I would not just hop and start eating Brazilian food. No, the fact that I came with food stuffs. Two stops were supposed to last me for a while. After, and I start, you know, eating. Not even after, like during the while it lasts, I, you know, eat or I try to, to, um, how was that English? Try to, you know, try some Brazilian recipes and see what it is I like and all that. So I made my food in this man's house. I made my food. I ate my food. But she kind of made, wanted it to be a situation where, oh, she made food. For both of us, she didn't want to eat. She complained that oh, the smell of my Nigerian spices were too strong, and da, da, da. it was just so annoying. Up to this, and that you know what? I just said, okay, you know what? Since she's complaining of the smell of everything, let me just arrange my thing. I put my box. What did I do? I arrange my spices, tie them in one nylon zip lock, and I put them in my box. She must start complaining that I'm keeping stuff in the room or oh, kitchen stuff, and I was like, oh lord, what do you want from me? You said. Is strong now. I'm trying to help you so that you know. Get, allow me to. Is, did I rent this room? Can't I have peace of mind? So you know, I kept um stop. She, she was she complained of that. She complained of the fact that she made food and I didn't eat. What kind of? I'm not a child. I'm not a child. First of all, secondly, I'm. <laughs> you don't expect me to just come to, to Brazil and you know start loving Brazilian food. I don't know where I come from. It's totally different. So it will take time. She complained that I didn't go to church with her. She complained that I wasn't understanding her. She was one that was not understanding me and giving me my own privacy. So, you know, I, it was just, I, it was just, it was just really weird. It was really, 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 I, I wasn't liking it at all. The whole stay with her, it wasn't it at all. Then I was managing because I, I was here to start school to, you know, know people and, um, gay place like i wanted to know my school had hostels where i could stay so um i had little um school runs that i had to do 
to go to my school she helped me with it which i'm grateful god god knows that i'm so grateful so we went to my school did my matric and i was officially a member of my school then they give us a date for the orientation which they're going to do for year one students so yeah my plan was you know start school make new friends and you know um get a place to stay that was not where i was staying my first experience was you know i was expecting that my first experience would be school wise would be like i'll get to brazil and you know all those movies we watch all those american movies where oh the whole freshman stuff that was what i was expecting <laughs> that is what i was expecting but my brothers and sisters that is not what i got when i got to brazil i was just on that vibe brazil was just no what i expected at all it wasn't but it wasn't bad it wasn't what i was expecting i don't know i don't even know what i was expecting i think i was expecting um what what i saw on in movies like foreign american movies i watched i was expecting like oh get to school we have a i don't even know now when i think about it i'm like ah okay man. i was expecting to have that circle of friends that you know do it whatever together i don't know you guys watch nigerian um you guys watch american movies and you know college movies you know how it is that was exactly what i was expecting to enjoy my college experience literally so it was not what i was <laughs> it was not what i was expecting that i got because when i came here brazil have like this whole thing where they do like um i don't know how to explain it, but like each school has like a campus and they have like different campuses so like let's say i'm going to use nigeria for, ex for example so let's say like um they have one university called university of lagos there's actually a university of lagos but like the university of lagos has like a campus in agege has on that campus in vi has on that campus in oshodi like you don't have to come to the one the main campus the lagos the, you don't have to come to the main campus you can actually take classes in all these other campuses that are closer by to you so that was the situation situation for me so we have like the main campus and the one i go to the one i go to is close to me it's like probably 30 minutes from my house then the main campus is probably like an hour and some minutes away or probably two hours so that's how it is here so like um it's, i think it's only on the main campus where you can get the whole college you even get the college experience like the outside country one that i was expecting but at least you get close to that then the campuses they're like private they're like um secondary school it's like for instance my own you go to class you have classes from like eight to five five o'clock it closes like the whole school closes nobody's having classes which is not the same because on like main campus um you have classes from like eight to five that's it but people are still on people are still on school premises people live on school premises but my own is just like for school library what else nothing after five o'clock every, almost everybody starts to go home so it's more like a secondary school kind of setting i feel so obviously i was going to get that whole experience that i wanted so orientation day came and I think this video is going to have a part two. But like a orientation day came and um went for the orientation. This woman took me. See, so, you know, she was the one I was living with, so I you, we weren't communicating well because my communication skills was terrible and hers were just she wanted me to be her daughter and obviously I wasn't going to be had my mom. So um she took me for my orientation and even if I wasn't understanding crap because my school obviously everything here is in Portuguese. I was understanding crap but she was explaining things to me then there was my where i made my first school friend that's when i made my first my first school friend uh when i got there i i sat down i sat down with her and there was another mom with her daughter and we're just sitting now and so i think this woman that i stayed with started to talk to my now friend's mom and you know they're talking and she was like oh that this girl is a foreigner she's talking about me and you know she doesn't have anybody here and she was just explaining stuff and i was like ah her daughter understands english that lets them um let them kind of um introduce two of us so they did introduce two of us and you know we exchanged number and that's how we started our friendship 
and you know we started to plan i started to talk to her on you know how she was going to you know, where she was going to leave when school started and we started to just um exchange ideas of stuff and just become friends basically i was still in this man's house and you know i was trying to leave i wanted to get a place i already told her that i was looking into a place closer to my campus so that it will not be hard for me and because oh lord it's today this woman that they will be playing more music today is saturday so today is saturday so you guys bear with me this noise i hope my voice can still be audible for you guys but basically i'm going to increase my voice <laughs> but basically this time um, i told this woman that i wasn't going to be staying with her again and i wanted to you know leave I wanted to leave and she was like oh no problem no problem but she had a problem because she started calling um, her church members to talk to me and um maybe like okay how i put it she knew someone in her church that maybe understood this of english she the person she had she would bring the person home she bring the person home then she come and talk to me then see what's going on why do i want to leave that and i was like god i need i want to leave because this is not like a a school environment for me this is more i don't know it's just weird i need to be around people that are studying the same course with me and people that are you know doing the same things i do so i would be able to you know experience the school stuff and obviously i want I, I thought of it like this okay what if i wanted to go out and go to the school library in the night i obviously cannot come back to this man's house so 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 whatever time that's what I thought because you know, I was coming from my parents' house. Obviously, you don't go back to your parents' house whatever time you like. You go back the time they wanted to come back. So I wanted to be in the school environment so I could, you know, just experience the whole school vibe. Get the whole school experience, sorry. Get the whole school experience and you know, be able to communicate with people like were actually my age and people were actually doing the same things I did. So that's why one of the reasons I wanted to leave. Coupled with the fact that the woman had already started to fondle with my things. She started entering my room and you know um going through my things and trying to arrange my things and i hate oh lord see if i leave my bag like this if i leave my bag upside down leave it upside down for me the highest you do is call me and be like okay man your bag is upside down then i'll take my bag and i'll turn it over if you start to if you start to enter and start helping me to arrange it just makes me go crazy because if I like to arrange my things like this, and you like to arrange your things like this, it, that one is so much headache for me because I don't have to take the things you are arrange like this. I will arrange it. So just leave it the way it is. Just call my attention to it. But this man didn't do it. She didn't do it. She started to complain. She started to um, go through my things and started to complain of what and what not I was keeping in my room. Then, oh, uh, the bed I was sleeping on was like a bunk bed. And I don't know, it was like, okay, bunk beds are supposed to be like, maybe like this distance so when you sit you can sit up but hers was like this nobody was sleeping up i was the only one in that room but i couldn't sit up so most of the time when i wanted to use my computer i had to like you know go to the floor so what i did was i i spread my blanket on the floor and i stayed on the floor using my computer this man walked in one day on me sleeping why did she enter my room lord knows she walked in one day on me sleeping and i started complaining that i was sleeping on the floor the mistake I made was I gave her my mom's number and my big friend's number because like my big friend was a graduate of medicine in Brazil. She was already working, I think. So this man called them and my big friend knows how to speak Portuguese. This man called them. I started telling them what I didn't even know. That me I was sleeping on the floor or whatever. Honestly, is it a crime to sleep on the floor? Is it is it a crime? Because I wasn't committing any crime. I wasn't offending anybody. So I don't know why she was complaining. She just had so so many issues with herself she had so many issues and i think the fact that probably maybe she didn't have a child was one of them and she now took me in as oh that child that she never had which i wasn't feeling because honestly i was how old was i i was 19 i was 19 so i didn't want anybody to be acting as mommy and daddy for me i had my mom and i already had my my dad i had all those things i didn't want it so if i if i'm paying for this place as long as i respect you respect my things even my mom respects my things my mom doesn't go through my stuff you know she has all the right to do she doesn't she needs to go through my stuff my siblings i tell them don't go through my stuff 
I just get pissed when they do that. But they're my siblings and it's understandable. But like having a stranger go to your shop is just on another level. I don't want it and I don't like it. So I started becoming very uncomfortable in the house. I started crying a lot. <laughs> I started crying a lot because my mom was so scared of also the fact that, you know, I didn't have another place to stay. And this woman would tell my big friend, wherever she told my big friend, my big friend would not my mom. My mom would start panicking and calling me and telling me to, oh, that she just managed the woman. I'm like, mommy, I cannot be managing this. I cannot. I cannot manage this. Mind you, when I came to Brazil, I said the agency that I got in contact with, there was a lady there that we started becoming friends. She was really helpful. She was on and got me where I was staying. So I started talking to her and telling her, you know, what and what was that was happening. Even my birthday, as she she took me out, you know, celebrating my birthday, celebrating my birthday in a very small way, but very very thoughtful way. But I started talking to her. I started downloading everything that was happening to her, and she wasn't just liking it. And you know, we started looking for another place. Then it got to one day. I cannot even remember what happened, but this day I got pissed off. I can't remember really what happened, but I got pissed off and it was here. I got it to here. I wasn't taking it anymore. And I was like, you know what? I'm leaving this house. So I called her and I was crying. Me then, I don't know if I still do it now, but then when I'm pissed off like this, because I don't really get angry anymore, but like then when, I, when I'm pissed off, I'll just start bald. I'll start crying. Like, I don't know. That was like one of the only, and the worst part was because I couldn't express myself to her. Being found that my Portuguese wasn't was not good, so there was no use. It was just cry and cry and cry. So I wasn't enjoying it. I wasn't feeling it. So this girl came over and she was like, "She talked to the man that um I don't like what they say she's doing. What is she not complaining about? My food, the smell, this and that. She was just too much. She was like, she, um she told the lady that she's taking me to for somewhere else to stay." Because I'm not comfortable staying with her. And I was like, hey, she was like this and that. She was, I think she was pissed also. And she was doing this and doing that. But, guy, if I said the things you are doing, I didn't want you to do them. Please, I'm not a child. Basically, they took me um, out of there. I packed my things and, you know, I left that place. Then I left there. I was so happy. So, this is me trying to edit this video and realizing that i skipped a very important information in this video well i didn't give a reason why i i left like my last straw there because i didn't remember at that point like i said the story time was unplanned it was something that i just did last minute because like i said i wanted I want to be i'm trying this whole consistency stuff so this is it for me so yes my last straw in that house was okay let me explain it like this i am somebody that i get cold easily like any small breeze i'm already feeling cold and i had a little bit of issues with cold so i'm not really good with cold so i I started feeling cold in that house and I stopped opening the windows like as wide as I usually open them. I stopped opening them as wide as that. I started opening them a little bit or I didn't even open them. And mind you, I just moved from Nigeria to Brazil. So my sleeping time, Brazil is four hours behind Nigeria. My sleeping time automatically was not it it just messed up the whole pattern i already had messed up pattern in nigeria so when it come down here it just messed up the whole thing worse so i slept throughout the day and i was awake throughout the night so me sleeping throughout the day and being awake throughout the night i liked my windows shut in the daytime because they kind of gave me that night effect in my room the whole darkness and just made me sleep so yeah i did that this woman now started complaining that I wasn't opening the window. This was a room I rented. I felt so bad. But like, why is me not opening the window of the room I paid for? How does it affect you? It's not like I'm burning something in my room and the smell is entering the whole of the house. Or I don't open the windows at all. Like, you know that I'm not used to um, this place. I'm trying to adapt and just let me be. So um, that was the last straw for me. And she complained about it for like a week. 
there were days where she came into my room i was sleeping she walked into my room and opened the window this was a room i paid for you walk into my room and you open the window or you 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 knock the window you, like you knock the window from there from outside i'm like i should open it like it was just so annoying i couldn't have peace of mind and uh, i left my parents house i wanted peace of mind where i was going the same peace of mind i go at home that's the same thing i wanted where i was going so I wasn't getting it, so I was just pissed off. And at this point, I couldn't take it anymore. Coupled with every other single thing that was just going on, it was just too much for me. I was just thinking of, okay, I was thinking of the worst. Like, okay, after a while, if I stay here for long, what will happen? That's what I was thinking of. So, it didn't seem well with me, and that was like the last straw for me. And also, I forgot to do like the intro, the outro to this part one, because I filmed the whole thing together. I did the outro only at the end of part two. So I'm going to use the opportunity to do it here. So I've come to the end of the part one. If you want to watch the part two, make sure you subscribe. Even if you don't want, make sure you subscribe, <laughs> like, share, comment, and leave your post notification on so that you get notified every single time I post. I mean no disrespect to anybody that has helped me throughout my journey up to where i am today and you know the my experience in brazil even the bad ones i have the bad ones i had i mean no disrespect towards anybody these are experiences that i had and i feel like you know they're my experience and if i want to tell them i'll tell them so i mean no disrespect i'm so grateful for the people that they might father put in my path and the ones that helped even the ones that didn't help in a way they did because that's what kind of shaped me and molded me to where i am now so thank you guys for watching this video like i said don't forget to subscribe share like comment and switch on, to, switch on your post notification i'll see you guys in my part two which i think i'm going to post maybe tomorrow after I'm filming this video, after posting this video the next day. Yeah, so have a nice day. Happy weekend, guys. <laughs>